So welcome to the aggregation for you daily booster series of the lecture three. So the first question is from the food science. So the first question is which of the following is a body building food? So the first option is the pulses. The second option is the cereals. And the third option is the green leafy vegetables. And the fourth option is the fruits. Here the option A that is the pulses are the building blocks are the body building food. Option A is, is the right answer. Then comes the second one, uh, which has been taken from the zoology part. Uh, the second question is, the phosphorus is an essential constituent of, so the option A is ATP, and option B is DNA, option C is RNA, and option D is all of the above. So here, the right option is all of the above, since the phosphorus is essential for ATP, DNA as well as the RNA. Comes, yeah. The, the next question is from the botany part. Uh, the third question is the tip of the stem and the root is composed of that is chlorenchyma tissue, the parenchyma tissue, and the polenchyma tissue and the meristematic tissue. So the tip of the stem and the root is composed of the meristematic tissue. So option D is the right answer. Then comes the fourth question, which has been taken from the agriculture, where the triticum estivum, that common bread wheat is, whether it's a option A, that is tetraploid, option B, that is hexaploid, option C, that is haploid, option D, that is diploid. So here, the common wheat, that is triticum estivum, is a hexaploid. So option B is the right answer. So then uh, for the question, the last question, that has been taken from the microbiology. So the quick question is, the prokaryotic cells are most resistant to osmotic shock than the eukaryotic cells because the first option is their cell wall is composed of peptidoglycan. The second option is they are selectively permeable. The third option is they contain the osmoregulating proteins, ponins. And the fourth option is they block the water molecules from entering the cells. So here the pro prokaryotes, so they will be having the cells that will be more resistant to the osmotic shock. So that is due to uh, the prokaryotic cells. They have the peptidoglycan. So their cell wall is composed of the peptidoglycan. So they are more resistant to the osmotic shock. So the option E is the right answer. Thank you.